Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome to my two cents on the YouTube Creator Blog that was uploaded on Thursday, April 6th of 2017. I personally think it's a really good thing, but I really wanted to give my two cents because a lot of people are crying foul, and especially smaller channels, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But basically, I, I think this is going to be a really, really good thing for YouTube. But let's dive into what the article is talking about, and then we'll get into my two cents. So introducing expanded YouTube partner program safeguards to protect creators. Creators. For millions of creators, making videos on YouTube isn't just a creative outlet, it's a source of income myself included. We set up the YPP in 2007. Today, more creators are making a living on YouTube than ever before. However, with this growth, we've started to see cases of use so great original content is re-uploaded by others to try to earn revenue from it. To help creator protect creator revenue, we recently made it easy to report anyone impersonating a channel, which is a good thing. I've reported a couple of channels not copying my content, but other people's content, so I think it's a load of BS. To date, this change has helped us terminate hundreds of thousands of channels violating our policies. So think about the fact that there are millions of channels and they've already deleted a hundreds of thousands. I think that's a pretty good feature. Today, this change has helped us terminate hundreds of thousands. Now we're making another step to protect creators by updating the thresholds required to join the YouTube Partner Program. So, as I... <clears throat> I was able to apply for YouTube Partner Program pretty much right off the bat. I didn't have a whole lot of subscribers. I didn't have a whole lot of views, but I guess my content was already original enough, and I guess they didn't see anything wrong with it, um, or they were just a lot looser back in the day that it didn't really seem to affect it. So now... They're introducing some standards. Starting today, we will no longer serve ads on YPP videos until the channel reaches 10k lifetime views. New threshold gives us enough information to determine the validity of a channel, also allows us to confirm if a channel is following our community guidelines and advertiser policies. By keeping the threshold to 10k, we also ensure there will be minimal impact on aspiring creators, and of course, any revenue earned on channels with under 10k views up until today will not be impacted. So basically, they're putting a threshold limit, 10,000 views lifetime that's not in a single video that's not in a month that's not in a week it's not in a day it's not in a year 10,000 lifetime views that's really really not that bad in a few weeks we'll also be adding a review process for new creators who apply to be in the YouTube partner program after a creator hits 10k lifetime views we'll review their activity against our policies everything looks good we'll bring the channel into YPP and begin serving ads against their content together these new thresholds will help ensure revenue only flows to creators who are playing by the rules if you're a new creator who just started or a YouTube creator Academy has tips our YouTube creator t has tips making great original content yada yada to help you get to that threshold so a lot of people are crying foul because they're like well they're just screwing over the little guys I want to let you guys know a little bit now this isn't I don't remember how much exactly I made on my first 10,000 views um, but I will tell you one thing the first 10,000 views you might at the maximum you might make like 10 or 15 bucks that's, I mean, I mean, I would be really surprised if I even made that. I probably made like two or three dollars. So for all those people crying foul about the fact, hey, you're screwing over the little guy because, dadgummit, we worked for those 10,000 views and we want to get paid because we're making a living off of it. Um, you're not. You're not making a living off of it if you only have 10,000 views. I'm going to be brutally honest with you. And on a second point, if you are solely doing this just for the money, you're going to get burnt out real quick, real fast. I've had to take a couple of breaks in the almost two years that I've been doing it because I was at that point where I was doing it just for the money, and you can't. You will not survive on YouTube if you do things just for the money because... You'll just get burnt out. You'll you'll lose the drive to make more videos and new content and all that kind of stuff. So why is this good for YouTube? Because it allows them to have a really good screening process. If you are a channel and you are uploading content that violates their policies, if you're a new channel, you're probably not going to make it because you're going to hit that 10K view. They're going to look through your videos. They're going to see what you're doing. They're going to compare it. Make sure you're not copying stuff. And if you don't like it, then they'll nix you. Now, that do, I don't think that necessarily means they're going to nix you in the, the sense that they'll shut your channel down. If you're impersonating someone else, then yes. But I think it will definitely, you won't be able to monetize. And so I think this is a really, really good policy for YouTube to do because it saves their face and it encourages those businesses to come back and put ads on their on their videos now. Now, of course, they're not going to come swimming back and just be like, oh, thank you, YouTube, you're amazing. We're so glad you did this. No, it'll be a little bit. And from what I've heard... 
YouTube has already lost close to a billion dollars in potential revenue over the next year. That's a crap ton. And I understand it. I get it on both sides. I get why YouTube blanketed those demonetizing values right there. Wasn't the right thing to do, but I think they were just trying to save face right off the bat and then kind of develop a plan, which I don't agree with, but I understand kind of a deal. I think this expanded YouTube safeguards may even get more intense in the coming year, I would imagine. They may even do some more things. But guys, 10,000 views, it shouldn't deter you. If you again, if you're in it for the money, then don't do it. But if you're in it to to play and to record and to update videos and do your thing because you love it, then you're gonna get there. You're gonna get there, and if it takes you a year to get 10,000 views, then it takes you a year to get 10,000 views. That also means it took you a year to get five, ten, fifteen dollars. So you're not living off of it. I will tell you that right now, you are not living off of it. So for those that are crying foul, um, I don't think they're really they're really uh, seeing the whole picture here. Now, of course, of course, when I first read the article, I thought it said 10,000 subscribers, which puts me in the bucket, and it freaked me out for a second. But then I saw 10,000 views, lifetime views. I was like, oh, it's a very, very, very achievable goal if you're willing to put your heart into it and if you're willing to just go the extra mile and create excellent content and so that's what they're trying to do not only are they protecting creators and their potential content from getting uploaded and protecting youtube from getting hate speech and racist channels uploading videos and things like that it really encourages you to make original content because it will push you to get that goal of being able to monetize your video 10,000 views, ladies and gentlemen. It's very achievable if you put your heart into it and if it is in the right place, not just for the money, then you'll definitely do it. And that's all I really wanted to do. Uh, since I'm a smaller channel, I'm sure some people at first thought it would like kind of impact me. It doesn't. I'm very much beyond, um, much beyond that 10,000 view. Thank you. Thanks to all of you guys who watch these videos. But yeah, so there's a couple other kind of things I might start branching outside of just gaming news. This just affects the YouTube community as a whole, and that's why I wanted to cover it. And for anyone who is on my channel, who watches my content, that is a smaller channel, just to give you a good understanding in case you didn't see this blog. But that's it, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. If haven't already hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. This is Havoc, and I'm out of here. Peace!